Alright, what's up guys? So, we're gonna play a game of Blessed Day and Ritual of the Night. I've played this game previously. Um, I'm gonna try to do like a new profile and stuff like that. It's a, it's a staple for my life to play this game. Let me delete this first. And then we're gonna move on to the gameplay in a bit. So how's everybody doing? Look at that intimidating Mothman by the balloon. I mean, pretty crazy. Um, I played these type of games when I was a lot younger. All about the Metroidvania craze. I liked Castlevania more because of the lore behind it and the bosses and all the type of stuff. And yes, I just find the really industrial intriguing. revolution. We're gonna skip that. We're gonna move on to this. Johannes. All right, all about Johannes. No, this is about Miriam. So Miriam is the protagonist of the game, woman, and you'll see what she's able to do. So we're gonna get our weapons. We have knife, kung fu shoes, and 10G. All right, so we're gonna equip the kung fu shoes. Can it kind of remind me? Sorry. All right, cool. I'll take care of it. All right, we'll take care of this beast. And Johannes is such a wimp. Damn, girl. Uh, Shard, a crystallized form of demon power, cannot be handled by an ordinary human being. Conjure Shard, push triangle to trigger a projectile, consumes MP. Johannes, why well, you gotta be looking at her bottom? Syrian Splash, launch a bouncing ball of water at enemies. Like, he's like paralyzed. Is that a shard? Was that a shard? No, it wasn't a shard, Johannes. He probably did. He got wrecked. How did they get inside? Well, this game is has a reminiscent mechanic of an old Castlevania game. It's on the Nintendo DS. It's a uh, Order of Ecclesia. Shinoa. Great game. Loved it. So we loved it. And then we have this. Ah, forgot to talk about this. Uh, these work by General Journal Entries and um, keeps like a compendium of every single beast you fight and stuff like that. The abilities, the resistances, level HP, experience, all that stuff and what they drop. It's really cool. So we got potion. No secrets here really. This device responds to magic. Maybe Okay, so it responds to magia. That got to be good game I like to play. Play it on my, uh, my off time. Actually, I played it earlier today. I was playing, uh, playing with a buddy in the shop. A lot of fun. Play for my known as commander. You have like your own legendary creature that makes like, the theme of the deck and all that type of stuff. So it's pretty fun. It's like one of my legacy games. Oh no. Ooh, how you like that? The I'll do the EX version of it. Plus, uh, some fire in my dinner with the tomatoes. Alright, I had to drop the tomatoes right there. Alright, we made it. Good. Those are like those one of those type of games that are gonna have a withstanding legacy. Like, that's one of those games I'll never die. So, I intend to, like, if I have a kid, so I get on my decks and carry out my legacy and all that type of stuff. So very bad at making decks for play. <laughs> nah, but I got them better at it. I mean, now they're like really good. I got boosted them up, put new cards here and there, and all that. And, uh, yeah. Maybe we should put Magic Gathering content back. I mean, I put it a while before. But um, that was when I was Medialka. And uh, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna move right along. Explore, explore. Whoa, okay. How's that fair? How's that fair? You really have to torture yourself, girl? Head flow. You know what? Let me see something. Shards. Okay, so we're gonna splash. Let's put that head flow. Let's see what it does. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, cool. Rusted ring. Yeah, we're gonna definitely need to equip that. Accessory rusted ring. Alright. 
You like, you like that speed I went to the manual? Oof. With the fastness. Pretty cool. That sounds like the zombies from House of the Dead when they do that. The thing she's missing is a gun. Should be like, re re reload. <laughs> Never forget like that. I also have my arcade antics too. I like shooting games, like shoot 'em ups. And uh, I like to play DDR as well. I have a lot of fun with that game. Kind of really good. I mean, I. <laughs> Not too long ago, but like I think it was like a month ago or something like that. Like I was, I went over there with my cousin to play DDR, and like I destroyed him. It was hilarious. I forgot what I picked up exactly. I come to choose. I put ahead. I forgot. Sorry, if I'm lost in time. For my studies, I have found the existence of the following attributes. Slash, rust, strike, fire, ice, thunder, light, dark, poison, pass, and stone. Okay. Status ailments. Alright, we're gonna say here. Ooh. Are you chilling in the cut? Alright. Hello, hello, hello. I really, I really hope this game is good because I have really high expectations for this. Maybe it'll be a sequel to this game, so you never know. But I really enjoy these games. Get my bread. Oh no! We're gonna spray her, yeah, her bottom, and I, they don't leave her alone. Miriam has a nice bottom. I get it. She has tattoos. She's a bit feisty, but. Oh. Aim better next time. Alright. Quick, Patata. Alright. We got here highlights. MP max up, okay. That's good. You know, I always wondered one thing, like, how do we evaluate our HP? <laughs> I like horsepower, but like our hit points of life and all that type of stuff. It's like, yo, this guy. Imagine if like they rated people by their, their, by their hit points. Like, oh, you see that short guy over there? He has 80 hit points. I'm like, dude, I only have like 40. Like, imagine if people are evaluating themselves by like hit points and stuff like that. Jesus. But imagine if we lived in a world like everything was like a video game. It's like, oh, I'm out of mana, I can't go to the gym today. Oh, I'm out of mana, I can't go to work. Like, ridiculous shenanigans like that. If, like, video game elements applied. Be pretty nuts. Oh, I, I can't... I can't get promoted because I haven't leveled up. Um, I need to level up, um... My experience in this department on these skills and, uh, yeah, I can't get that position. Uh, whatever. Being silly. Just talking a bunch of nonsense. Honestly. Gallon map. Alright, so there's a bunch of secrets around here. A bunch of areas that are not explored yet. Here we go. Nyo! That was a hell of a hit. Alright. I really wish I could stream this though. It just hurts. See you get a hit like that. It's like... Kind of reminds me of like Minecraft or Terraria when I saw that piece. Of, like, elm. All right, what am I gonna do with a piece of elm? I guess there's gonna be crafting in this game too, that you can make your own weapons and stuff like that. Pretty cool. If I were to pick a weapon, in this game would be like some type of sword or a gun. Probably both preferably like an Asian sword, like a katana or something like that. Be pretty cool. Raja, shot south. Let's see. This is not bad. Oh, this 
does a lot more damage and decapitates heads. Yep. Beautiful. Just when we need something to decapitate diamonds. Alright. Next up the list is bookcase. Flashing air kick. Oh yeah, I demonstrated that. That's like the, the fighting game mechanic. Very famous fighting game motion. Fireball motion. Input button. To get things done. Yes, I'm into fighting games as well. So I do play it. Not a pro by any means, but I'm very intrigued by it. I'm playing a lot of Mortal Kombat lately. I'm having fun with it. A certain gentleman with Agora. By the name of Kung Lao. Cool character, super super cool. We did get a tire start. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go here. I ain't no foxy ground for this. Those of you wonder. Not a British guy that plays him. More like uh, Cuban. Cuban born here in the U.S. First language is English. Okay, it's like a sads. So yeah, my first language is English and Spanish. And there's the other way around, strangely enough. But, yeah. but yes, everything has its place. It's really nice. It's really this guy reminds me a little bit of Harry Potter, kind of. A bit like a Hufflepuff, though. Nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, I don't know. I don't know anything about Harry Potter, so nah. Did enjoy the movies, though, but really I don't know much. Gotta watch all these guys. This guy means business. Nice. Three hits did it. Cool. Flawless victory. Okay. Ese fantasma que está ahí me tiene loco ya. Vaya para allá. Vaya para allá. Vaya para allá. Ya me tiene cansado. Vaya para allá. Vamos. Una más. What? Hell of a ghost. I already checked his entry on the previous recording. Literally, it says right now it's like all question mark. Except for like one thing, one trade, I think. That's about it. Secretos? Highly doubt it. Nah, that's not here. Maybe I could revisit this map at one point. Because usually these games, you typically like revisit areas and explore new spots to go to. Eventually, it opens up new paths. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah. And that was a little preview of uh, King Kong Monster Squid outside. Don't know what his deal is about, but whatever. Okay, safe ring. So, mm, no, not good. Defense higher is your defense, but it lowers your attack. I remember one gameplay. I equipped the safe ring along with the other ring. Did not go well. It made the combat last forever. Essentially, and I wasn't too happy about that. So yeah, we got potato corn and rice. Oof. I have Thanksgiving up in here. Critical, nice. Sea urchin. Okay, this is interesting now. I like this, so now we're going to the area we couldn't access before. Apparently. Okay. Alright. Progress. I like that. It's pretty good. Aww. Secretos? A thousand gold? What? And we got HP max up. Or MP max up. I didn't really pay attention to that, but that's really good. Yeah, I'm not. I am not even mad at that at all. I'm not gonna front. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice Secreto. Glad I came to that. Another nice room. Let's be rounds five. The Musket Tomb. Alright, truth be told. A gun can be shot by equipping consumable bullet when you run. Yeah, whatever. Just getting fancy with it. 
one of the most ridiculous weapons in the game. You could literally go to town with it, but you'll see what I mean. Musket two, infinite rounds. So unfair. And as stun, stun, stun. I'm afraid to get stung, honestly. I, I never got. I don't know if I ever got stung by a bee intentionally, but. Yeah, I mentioned I talk a lot. Yeah, I talk a lot. I'm okay. Nah, I just say what's on my mind. Usually I'm a very quiet, bearded person. I don't know if I should save. Yeah, let's save. Let's save, let's save, let's save. Ooh, okay. What level am I now? Okay. You would think you'd go downstairs or go down there, but nope, you can't. Unfortunately. So, according to the mapa, we need to go that way. Upwards. So we go to the right and then we go up. Oh, this is cake. Look at this. Literally, like when I was shooting, the lantern hit his head too, so it inflicted damage. So pretty cool. It's just ridiculous the properties of this gun. Maybe you could break ball huh break balls. <laughs> break walls with this pistol. And then you have this the signature weapon. The Belmont whip. Let's see how this does. This is, a, this is like a signature Castlevania weapon. Not so well, apparently. I mean, it's a classic. I don't like the arc that much because the old Castlevania games are just, it's just, just a straight motion and a strike. It's like a swing, it's like a downward swing, spiral type of deal. Back, I say. Get back, get back. Like that. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, these little, these little squids are getting pretty antsy, man. 500 gold. We got a good amount of gold. Oh, there's a swinging platform. Okay. Let's have to time it right. Got it. We're heading up, but we gotta keep an eye on the swing. Now, you can't reach there. In no way. Let's give you lashes. Your water. I'll do that. Is the whip that good? Hold up. Whip. Muscatoon. Of course, that's a heavy sword. It takes a while to like. Short sword. Gun you'll be shooting for. Okay, the previous gameplay is when I fought the boss. I used the gun, but I'm considering the whip of the short sword. So, I'm gonna go with the whip for now. Let me see what I have equipped for shards. Head flail, flame cannon, okay. So, potion. Wow, I haven't used the potions. Looks pretty good. Despite the fact. Yes, you can kill these ratonas actually. You can kill them, I've killed them before. I forgot with, with, which weapon. Let me get the whip so I can prove it to you. Maybe they went away, I don't know. We're gonna see the ratos. I don't condone an animal cruelty, but... Yeah, there you go. For the case of that, yes, you can definitely, definitely kill that rats. So we're gonna save here. Alright, so we're nearing the point of fighting the boss. First boss of the game. And Shinoa's still level 4, I mean Miriam, still level 4. Alright. Let's see if the whip is indeed a good weapon to go against this boss, or the short sword. Any of them is arguable. So, Sleeping Beauty, you've decided to awaken. Shiba, tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense! Sorry, I'm enjoying my- How does it not? 
After all the sins humans wrought upon us. I'm enjoying my Publix lemon chiffon yogurt. Part of my diet. Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. It's right. But what you're doing now is just as bad. No! No, there you are. Very wrong. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. Ooh, we got full mal alchemists up in here? Alright. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I earned the right. Really? Okay. You're gonna reshuffle the world. Alright. Join me. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. Okay, yada yada yada. She disagrees, he gets upset, he departs, and yeah. Wait. So let's see what's gonna happen now. In terms of this. Alright, here we go. Was the whip worth it? Okay, now let's see how much damage the Musketoon does. Four. Literally half. Alright. Do I feel more comfortable with the short sword? Surprisingly, I do. The whip just takes longer. Whoa, that's 19 for him. Okay. Take it easy. Yeah. Either way for her to bow her head and hit her pretty hard when the time comes. She's gonna go down though. I'm gonna do something special. It hasn't happened yet, but I'm gonna do a nice pop up. Look at that. Attack. Oh, I'm getting wrecked. All right, hold on. Can I eat the tomato? No, I can't. Oh man, it's like a couple of potions. Okay, gotta watch out for the projectiles. Tentacle, man. With the car. Watch, I'm gonna slap her. What's gonna happen? Watch, the stop is coming. Yo, 60. Do it again. See, the, see what I mean? In these type of games, when the enemy gets hit so hard, they're like, no, 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 I'm not giving them a continuous second form of my attack formation. They're like, I got hit too hard. Critical? Nice. Halcyon. I actually did one run without recovery items. With the pistol, I was just like moving back and forth like crazy. Pretty successful run that one was. There, that did it. No. <laughs> Take that 60. Get wrecked. Second level. <laughs> Yo, you have to do that every time? I saw it. Just a flicker. That was the Jeebel I know. I will put a stop to all this. Hopefully so. I'm just smiling because I know whose voice that is. That is David Hayter, the voice of Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid. That is so sick. We're here. Was this a village? To it. The demons Jeebel summoned? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. 
This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. All right. But wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. Alright, guys. So this is gonna end part one of my gameplay series. Expect more to come out soon. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.